Hey everybody, it's Jim again. Quail farming, hay farming. Sell on eBay, I don't know, whatever. Back here at the quail pens. I'm gonna move some quail, I'm gonna put some, I caught some birds, that's why I'm sweating like a, like a hog right now. But I'm gonna put some quail in these new pens. See if I can, I'll show them to you here in a little bit. The other ones have been in three or four days now, doing really well. Uh, see if you can see down. That's uh, the last ones I put in. Right in there. I don't think I've lost any in this other pen. But, uh, yeah, it's aggravating catching them fools. Whew! We'll see you there in a few minutes. All right, I'm back out here. Let's set up this new pen. Got the water here. Getting ready to put some water in here. Killing myself. I'm getting soaking wet. As you can see, they're filling up well. No leaking. I just watered those birds. They were about halfway empty with that five gallon bucket. I still have to feed them. Need to collect eggs too. Gotta give me eggs. There's one up top. He's out. We have a lot of birds that are out. A lot of people have asked why Bob White quail. A lot of people raise a Japanese quail, a Katornix. I think that's how you say it. We tried those. They're a lot easier to raise. There's no doubt about that. But we're more into selling for hunting training dogs, stuff like that. And you can't do it with the Katornix. They just don't fly. These things, you let them loose and they're gone, like no time flat. Let me go ahead and get this fresh vegetable box. It's got these fresh birds in it. Hopefully dogs don't get them. Last time I lost a few. The water's still running. See, they got, got big birds this time. Hopefully, they don't try to jump out. And I lowered these down a little bit more. I had some smaller one I saw get out over here underneath that water. A little dinky, a little dinky bird. He got out. He's out in the wild blue yonder now. So I lowered these down. They can also get to their feed though. We'll catch you back here in a little bit. All right, I got them in there. I think there were 16 all together. Uh, bigger birds, these are gonna be next year's layers. They're probably 12, 13 weeks old now. Won't start laying until 20 weeks and that'll put us into, days will be getting pretty short. I have put lights on them, but it seems to wear out the birds. Put lights on them, it's, they don't seem to, last as long and i was saying about the japanese quail they just they're pretty boring to me they they'll start laying probably six or seven weeks i'd say they grow really fast they're more of a meat bird these they don't reach maturity probably 22 24 weeks where they're really the the full size i grow the the georgia giants but the tornix are kind of like a rat they eat and that's about it. Eat, drink, crap. But these we can sell the eggs. Sell yesterday. I had two orders I had to deliver of of uh, that. Just like what I moved, 10, 12 week old birds. The guys wanting to train their hunting dogs. And uh, you can sell them at, for chicks at two dollars. You can sell the eggs. They usually bring if you sell small quantities, you know, 50 cents or so per egg. If we have to buy eggs, we buy them by the thousand. They cost us like 38 cents an egg. Um, these don't lay as many eggs, but and they're also a lot more finicky. They'll die quicker. It's hard to figure out what makes them click at times. You don't know what's killing them. They get too cold, too wet, spooked, and you name it. But once they get up 
you know, this size bird, they, they don't give many problems. They're, they're pretty good. Should lay three or four years at least. You can also sell them for meat birds if you want. Not near as, not near as productive as a Japanese quail. Remember to like and subscribe my channel if you will. Thanks. All right, everybody, I'm back out here. It's been a couple hours since I put these birds in here. They seem to be doing all right. They're real spookish, but that's just a bob white. Real skittish. Once in there a few days, they do, do pretty well. I gotta collect eggs now. You can see we've got good many eggs. That's the one we get today. This one pen is mixed. Georgia Giants and regular, they're a little bit smaller. You can see right there, that's a Georgia Giant. That's a big, big male bird. It's a rooster. And that's a hen with the brown head and the white head. And yesterday, some of the ones, people wanted breeding ones. And as you can see, I don't see how you can tell. They say you can, these are little birds here. You can say you can check their vent vents but i don't think that's too accurate i don't know you got to wait till their head changes colors it's going to be another i don't know probably four or five more weeks for those change it look like that right there where you can really tell white head is a rooster and the and the brown head is the hen same thing on these little smaller birds i need to have at least 15 birds in each of these breeding pens Hopefully we'll have them that way by next year, but next spring. Don't have too many die. I got my egg tray over here, so we'll start over here. I got trash, I know. I gotta get rid of trash sometime. Uh, a few of these need to be raised up. You can see there's eggs. A lot of eggs today. Just sit them in here and see how many we'll get. All right, I'm back out well, in the garage here. I got put these eggs in the incubator. See the water? I just filled up both these waters. That's a thousand bald eggs. They come out, I think, set, September 4th. Like about, I don't know, eight or ten more days. So we'll go ahead and hit the manual button. Let's see. Turning so we can stick these eggs in there. Not bad, I'm gonna show you these eggs. Look at these. These are like chicken eggs. If you can see that. that. I got one bird that does that every one of her eggs. She got two of them. Here's like a regular. I don't know if you can tell the difference in size. There's a regular quail egg, the top one. Yes, and now those are two of that one bird. I don't know what in the world. She's half chicken or what? They don't even fit in the, the trays. It's, I mean, they hatch. They, a little quail will come out of there. Can't really tell the difference. She ain't a big bird. She just lays a golly whopper of an egg. No, I need to pull my little date back. 8.25. Eight nineteen. About a week difference in those. Still have about eighty eggs. I usually collect every five or six days out there. So. And we swap this back to automatic. There we go. Green lights on automatic. And that's all she wrote. <laughs> 